Well, Luke, we've got FA Cup action this weekend against Luton. I'm sure you and the whole team are looking forward to it. Yeah, can't wait. I think it's a good opportunity for everyone. Um, obviously, it's the FA Cup as well, so everyone's buzzing to, to get out there. And yeah, I think everyone's really excited. Knockout football is just fun for a footballer too. You know, it's going to be decided on the day one way or the other. You'll either win or lose, so it's all, all on the line. Yeah, exactly. Exactly. I think that's the game's... Uh, we all look forward to it as well. Um, chance of extra time penalty. So yeah, I think everyone will be raring to go. And we know what life is like as a footballer. You know, young guys always have to you know, wait for opportunities. Keepers in particular. And cup games offered that. They gave you your debut this season earlier in the year, and that was, you know, I guess you built aiming to build on that this weekend. Yeah, definitely. Uh, as goalies, especially young goalies, like you said, the chances are. Uh, few and far between so when you get chances like this in cup games you've got to just uh, make sure you take the opportunity and show what you can do um, and show the manager what you can do so yeah definitely it's definitely a exciting prospect for me to, to go and show what I can do yeah because obviously in the league you've kind of been uh, you've been sort of deputising for, for Raphael this season but you got those opportunities as Colchester and then of course Luton uh, what were they what were those experiences like for you playing first team football for, yeah for it was uh it was brilliant it was uh after a long time off because of Covid, um, so it was my first get a couple of games in a while. Um, but to make my debut for the club I've been at since I was seven, eight years old um, was unbelievable. Um, so obviously a surreal experience and yeah, just wanting to, to build on that in the, on the weekend. And you mentioned that, I mean, we're bringing that into the FA Cup. I mean, you've probably seen this Reading team, you know, as a sort of supporter, if you like, kind of do things in the FA Cup in the past. And, and it'd, be, it'd be nice if this was the start of a journey, wouldn't it? Yeah, definitely. I remember... I can't remember how many years ago it was, but going to, uh, to Wembley to watch Red vs Arsenal. Um, so yeah, hopefully try to recreate memories like that. Those, those are big things, aren't they? I know the cup is, the league we appreciate is going to be the priority, but it could be a nice welcome distraction in some senses and also you know gives us a big build up to the next league game as well. Yeah, definitely. I think it's a good opportunity for people to get rest, people to get, to get minutes, um, but also a great opportunity for everyone to go and show what they can do. Um, and I'm sure whoever's on that pitch will be giving it 100%. Um, so yeah, everyone's definitely buzzing and raring to go. And that's the, point, the last point really is that, as you say, you know, the manager's going to name whatever team he names, it'll be a competitive one because we're all competitors here, aren't we? Yeah, that's exactly it. The, the team's doing really well at the minute. Um, but like we all know, any injury, any COVID case, anything can happen and we've all got to be ready. So the people who get chances to, to show what they can do or chances to come into the league team, um, they know they've got to take the chances and uh, hopefully help the team. And sorry, one last point then. Yeah, we Luton obviously had their game called off last weekend because of COVID. All being well, the touch wood, everything goes ahead this weekend. And um, yeah, you just want that uninterrupted. You, hopefully we won't have any situations where we're made to wait. Yeah, 100%. That's uh, everyone's worry last week when we saw uh, Luton's game on Saturday was called off. But from the understanding we've got right now, the game's going ahead, so everyone's buzzing. Um, and yeah, exactly that. Like you said, we can't take anything for granted in the, in the world we live in right now. So every game we get to play is a blessing um, and we've got to make sure we're ready to do it.